A few weeks ago, I posted a uh, painting with light gallery, and a couple of you have said, hey, Snapchat, you didn't tell us how to do it. So in this video, I'll explain to you what my process was in my uh, painting with light uh, gallery. So painting with light, there are really two types, at least that I know of, and they are one where the light itself is the subject of the photograph and the light source is in the photograph. So um, for example, someone's holding a flashlight and in a dark room and, and they're moving it all over the place and you're seeing that trail of light in the photograph. Um, now the other type of painting with light is where your light source isn't necessarily in the photograph um, and you have some other subject in the photograph and you're just using light to selectively um, light <laughs> the subject by painting with it. So for example, with this flashlight, you would paint uh, the light um, on a long exposure shot um, on your subject. So I was using that second form of uh, painting with light in my um, photo shoot. So what I did was put my uh, camera on a tripod and I grabbed a buddy because I needed someone to hold the flashlight and move it around while I was posing. And um, I knew that I was gonna need a lens on my camera that would let a lot of light in. So I made sure I had an f2.8 lens on there. And I set my camera to manual mode cause well, I was gonna really need to monkey with the settings, right? Uh, to, to get a long enough exposure uh, with a wide enough aperture to, to be able to see the light that was being painted. So I did end up with f2.8 for all of my photos, uh, but for the shutter speed, I ended up with um, a few were at four seconds and a few were at five seconds, and that seemed to be good for me. But I was in a super dark room, and it just is gonna depend on, on your conditions and what, um, what, what effect you're going for in your photograph. So you definitely are gonna need to do a lot of experimenting. I did that day. So, uh, okay, so we went over what I did and I had my buddy with the flashlight and I actually put my camera on self timer by the way so that when my buddy pressed the shutter it wouldn't shake the camera at all because you know with such a long exposure uh, you, you don't want your camera to be shaking and you certainly don't want your model to be moving around either. You want everything to be as static as possible except for the light. So. Uh, my buddy would press the, uh, the self timer and I would hold super still in the dark and my buddy would turn on the flashlight like so and I, you'll see on Veronica here would paint my buddy would paint you know parts of me that we wanted lit in the photo. Um, if I wanted something uh, highlighted or more lit up than something else, I would, you know, use, my buddy would spend more time lighting that area and maybe lighting, you know, would spend less time on areas that I didn't want lit as much. So that's pretty much what I did. Uh, keep in mind that um, you're going to have to use a long exposure to get uh, the, the light painting effect and you will need your model to hold super still. You'll need to keep your camera super still so a tripod is you know, the, the easy choice for that. And please let me know if you have any questions or any ideas or if you have any examples, please you know, send them to me. Um, I'd love for you guys to post comments on this uh, video. So let me know.